zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey Goggle, what are you doing? I'm arranging these number blocks in the right order. Do you know these numbers are used in different ways in different number systems? What's a number system? The way in which numbers are represented is called a number system. There are many ways of representing the numbers which has given rise to different number systems. What are the different number systems? There are four common number systems. Binary or base 2 number system. Octal or base 8 number system. Hexadecimal or base 16 number system. And decimal or base 10 number system. But let me start by telling you about the number system that we use in our daily life, the decimal number system. This number system is made up of 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Using these 10 digits, you can express any quantity. Because it uses 10 digits, the decimal number system is also called the base 10 system, where the base number 10 is called the radix. The decimal system is also called the positional value system or the place value notation. The radix point, more commonly known as the decimal point, separates the whole numbers on the left from the decimal numbers on the right. The positions to the right of the decimal point are called the decimal places. For example, look at the decimal number 68.12. Here, the decimal point separates the whole numbers 6 and 8 and the decimal numbers 1 and 2. The digit at the first decimal place, that is 1, shows the number of tenths. We call it 1 tenth. The second decimal place, that is 2, shows the number of hundredths. We call it as 2 hundredths. And so on, if there were more digits further right. The digit to the left of the decimal point, that is 8 is the 1's position. The numeral in that position indicates how many 1's are present in the number. The next digit further left, that is 6, is the 10's position and so on if there were more digits to its left. I got it. Each digit position has a weight. That is 10 times the weight of the position to the right. Exactly. But let's expand 68.12 to verify it. 68.12 is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 1 plus 8 into 10 to the power 0 plus 1 into 10 to the power minus 1 plus 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 is equal to 6 into 10 plus 8 into 1 plus 1 by 10 plus 2 by 100 is equal to 60 plus 8 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.02. There, you are right, Goggle. Can you tell me which digit in the decimal number 68.12? Has the least positional value or weight? The rightmost digit, that is 2, has the least positional value or weight. Exactly. So, 2 is called the least significant digit or LSD. Whereas, the leftmost digit, that is 6, has the maximum positional value or weight. So, 
It is called the most significant digit or MSD. I have a question toggle. Computers perform many calculations for us. I know that when we type a character on the keyboard, the computer converts it and stores it in the form of a string of zeros and ones. It doesn't use any other digits. So, I was wondering how does the number system work in computers? That's a brilliant question, Goggle. The digits 0 and 1 are together called the binary digits or bits. 0 and 1 form the binary number system. The computer is designed on this system. The binary number system is also a positional numbering system wherein each binary digit is expressed as a power of 2. For example, look at this fractional binary number 1101.1011. The binary point separates the whole number part 1101 from the fractional part 1011. The place values of the digits to the right of the binary point are obtained by raising 2 to successive negative powers. Can you tell me which is the least significant digit and the most significant digit here? Yes, the digit 1 is the least significant digit and again the digit 1 here is the most significant digit. Now, let me tell you about the number system which has 8 as its base number. The octal number system. Right, Goggle. Also, if I am guessing it right, the octal number system has 8 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Yes, the octal number system is also a positional numbering system where each octal digit has its own positional value or weight expressed as a power of 8. For example, 1352.12 is an octal number with a fraction where the radix point separates the whole number part from the fractional part. The place value of each digit to the left and the right of the radix point is equal to 8 raised to the successive positive or negative powers respectively. Can you tell me which is the least significant digit and the most significant digit here? Hmm, the digit 2 is the least significant digit and the digit 1 is the most significant digit. Excellent! Now, let me tell you about the hexadecimal number system. It has 10 numeric digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 6 letters A, B, C, D, E, F. Where A is equal to 10, B is equal to 11, C is equal to 12, D is equal to 13, E is equal to 14 and F is equal to 15. That sounds interesting. The hexadecimal system is also a positional numbering system where each hexadecimal digit is expressed as a power of 16. For example, look at this hexadecimal fractional number A3B.12. Here, the place value or positional value of each digit is a power of 16. Again, as we had seen in the decimal and octal systems, the radix point separates the whole number part from the fractional part. The place value of each digit to the left and the right of the radix point is equal to 16 raised to the successive positive or negative powers respectively. 
Can you tell me which is the least significant digit and the most significant digit here? Hmm, the digit 2 is the least significant digit and the letter A is the most significant digit. You're right, Goggle. Why is the binary number system used specifically in designing computers? Computers use binary number system for storage and calculation of data. As you know, the binary number system consists of two digits, 0 and 1. These digits can be easily represented using switches. A switch in the on state represents 1, while a switch in the off state represents 0. A computer has a large number of switches. Any number can be stored as a group of switches which can be in on or off states. For example, a group of 8 switches can store 256 numbers from 0 to 255. Thus, by using the binary number system, the storage and calculation of data becomes easy.